Hey guys, it's Keja Rose, and I'm back with another Diary of an Air Force Girlfriend. And this one, as you can see, is on Wat 2 or the second week of training. And I'm just pretty much going to jump right on in. If you haven't gotten caught up, I will link my previous videos in this series down below. And I'm just going to jump straight on in. Okay, as far as how I felt this week, my emotions, um, I was still good. I wasn't like sad or anything this week at all. But this week was a little bit more exciting because I finally got mail. Like I finally got letters and you guys just don't understand. I literally was so excited to get my letters that when I figured out that this envelope wasn't cooperating with me, I just ripped it in half. Like I just, I didn't even care anymore. I literally like ripped my mail in half because I was so excited to get it. So I got my first, this was my first, um, first two letters, he sent two letters. They're really small, but one he wrote on the 15th, one on the 17th. So one he wrote after being there five days, the other he wrote after being there for a week. Um, and then I got it the following week in the second week of training. So one quick thing I'm going to say about writing letters is I don't know if this is because of his, the job that he has, which I'll get to, or just because their MTI doesn't give them enough time to write. But he has to write letters from the latrine or whatever, the, the bathroom. He has to sit on the toilet and write. So I don't know if he actually uses the bathroom at that time or not, but he, like, when he's supposed to be sleeping, he goes to the bathroom and he, like, writes. Um, so it's, like, lights out at 9 p.m., which is, like, 2,100 hours, and at that time, that's when he goes and writes. I don't know if, <laughs> if he's okay with me sharing that, but I'm sure he's eventually going to share that in his own um, YouTube videos once he starts his channel. But I, even though I was, like, kind of nervous that he would get caught and get recycled, um, and recycle is just being pushed back like a week, two weeks or more, um, which means that you'll graduate later and you'll be in a whole new flight. But I was kind of nervous he would get caught and get recycled, so I was kind of like, don't do that, but then the other part of me was like, oh, I'm so glad you did that for me so that I could have something to read from you and I can know how you're doing. So I like had mixed emotions on it. But anyways, I'm going to just kind of give you a brief kind of like overview of what he told me in that letter, that way you guys can kind of know from his, like what I heard from his perspective, just from the letters. Um, so basically he told me after the first two days it got way easier, um, and then if you see my zero week video you know that he did kind of sneak me a text basically saying like that he didn't think he could do it. So getting this letter in the second week of training, which was like two weeks later, it was reassuring to know that it got way easier after those first two days of being there. Um, he really hates the repetitiveness of everything and having to march everywhere. Uh, and then in this, you know, in these first letters, he was still extremely unsure about his decision to join the Air Force. Um, he just, he can't, it was like hard for him to see past basic. He's like, I'm sure regular everyday life after basic and tech school would be great. But like, you know, right now it's really hard to see past that. And even though it was really hard and he was unsure, he still was kind of, trying to stick with it because he's doing this to better our lives and he knows that it could benefit his future a lot more than if he left the Air Force. So he's like, he's going to stick with it so that he can, you know, better himself and better things for the both of us. But uh, it's just a really unsure feeling at the beginning. He also told me that he was an element leader, which I was super excited to hear because apparently it's kind of like a kind of sort of big thing depending on your MTI for being an element leader it could either be because you're older than a lot of the other people um, which I assume a lot of the guys going in are around 18 freshly graduated and he's 22 so it could have just been based on age even though I know that there's another guy in his flight that's 25 and maybe some that are older I just know one of his friends there is 25 yeah it could just be based on age it could just be a random thing or it could be that he showed some type of qualities that they felt he could be a good leader and if it's that one, I was super excited. Also in this letter, he shared with me that he, you know, was already making friends and stuff because I did ask him that. I was like, let me know if you're making friends because if he wasn't, then that would probably make this process a lot harder. You don't have anybody you can personally relate to, so you kind of feel alone even though there's 50, like 40 to 50 other guys going through it with you. So I was just really happy to know that he's making good friends and that he was kind of telling me about one of them. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much most of it in that first letter of course he was telling me how much he missed me 
and care about me and things like that but I'm saving the mushy stuff yeah other than that I also got another um, envelope sent to me with two more letters on Friday yeah and then once again I was I got really excited on this and once again pretty much ripped it up in half and uh, this one let me see the second one was definitely longer than the first like this is like a lot more pages than the other one was and um, this one was also to one from the 18th so it was eight days after he was there it was you know like eight days of being there and then the other one was from I want to say the 21st I can't see yeah the other one was from the 21st so he had been there 11 days when he wrote that one and then you know I also got this in the same week week two it was just Friday that I got the second one um and then those told me that they got their I think it's the peanut butter shot. He got they got the peanut butter shot that day, and that it hurt really bad. He also told me that he's a chow runner, which I was confused because in the letters I had just gotten like four days before. Yeah, it was about four days before. He was just telling me how he was an element leader, and then you know four days later, I'm getting ones that say he's a chow runner. So I was thinking either one of two things happened: either he lost his job as an element leader and switched over to chow runner or he had both jobs and he was an element leader and a child runner, which I don't know if that's even possible. But either way, I, once I found out he was a child runner, I was like, dang, because I had seen so many videos on how bad being a child runner is. And he was basically telling me, you know, the things that he has to do and like the, the long line that they have to say. If you've seen child runner videos, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, he did say that things calmed down a lot more but he just hates that everything is always go, go, go. You know, like the whole hurry up and wait thing. You're literally hurrying everywhere, even if you have to wait once you get there. So he just, he didn't like that still. Um, he was also just saying that he really appreciated the fact that I write every single day because he knows every single time when it's like mail call, he knows that he's getting mail from me. And he was just saying that the words of encouragement, the scriptures, everything was really helpful. And... Just having that from me every day helped him get through that day into the next one. And um, he was saying that he, his feelings about the Air Force were starting to get more like level, more like in the middle. Um, you know, it's still not up here, it's still not like super awesome, but it's not down here anymore. It's more in the middle. Like some days he's like really like, yeah, okay, I, I can do this. Like, and then other days he's kind of like iffy about it. Also in the second letter, I had sent him a questionnaire um, earlier on which I got the idea from Air Force Wing Moms and then I took it and I kept using it. So I've sent about four questionnaires now because he doesn't always answer my questions in his letters. Yeah, so I used these so that I could send him questions. I don't know if you see it at all. But so that I can send him questions and he can just kind of like circle his answers that way I know like how things are going. And then he like, you can see he's like, well, you might be able to see that he's adding his own little notes to it and things. But yeah, so he like added his own little notes and then so I have like yes, no questions. ABC questions and then I have like ones that he can just like fill in that way whenever he's not answering my questions I'll just put it all in a questionnaire and then send it to him and then he can just circle his answers and send it back. Um, I also sent him labels uh, here actually I have them. So I also sent him labels that he could use to make the process go easier. I'm not going to show the actual labels because if I do you guys will see the address that he has there and you'll see my address too. So I'm going to send these blank ones that I sent for him to also give out to some other guys in his flight if they need it just to make their writing process easier. Because you never really realize how long it takes to like fill in your address information and, and their address information until you're writing letters all the time. So this one's like a blank one. But these are just like some of the labels that I made. Like you can just peel them off and put them right onto the envelope. But it actually has his information on it so it's like... I made these labels so that it can make the the writing process a little bit easier. But uh, yeah, as far as letters go, that's about it. I got two sets of letters that week, um, and I believe that week I was still kind of doing two letters a day. I started fluctuating, some days I do two, some days I just do one, but I was definitely always sending a letter every single day. But yeah, as far as the second week of training goes, that's about it for the second week. Yeah, it's, it was a really exciting week because I got technically four letters total in that one week. It just came two at once, two at another time. It was definitely better than my third week. And um, I'll explain why my third week got a little rough for me. Um, 
as far as like letters and things go but yeah week two was really good and if you're interested stay tuned for week three and until then i feel free to contact me i'll put my information down below um, i'll put all the information that i mentioned in this video down below also and if you have any questions you can put it in the comments or reach out to me via social media email whatever um, and i'll be there for you even if you just need someone to talk to but yeah i thank you guys so much i really appreciate you guys uh, commenting, liking, subscribing, and messaging me. I honestly really enjoy the conversation. And yeah, I'll check you guys out in the next video. And I thank you so much. Definitely like this video and subscribe if you enjoyed. And leave me a comment down below on how your weeks are going or if you're about to be in this situation yourself. Thanks so much.